In a world drenched in chaos, where false gods ruled the hearts of nations and kings were swallowed by corruption, one man stood defiant, his name, Elijah. Have you ever wondered what made him so extraordinary? What was the secret behind his unwavering faith and power? In the face of doubt, he called down fire from the heavens. When surrounded by enemies, he parted the skies with prayer, and when hope seemed lost, he stood firm, unshaken, unbroken. This is not just the story of a man, it's the story of a force beyond human understanding. A prophet, anointed and fearless, armed with a truth that echoes through time. A truth that still calls out to us today. Elijah's life holds a secret a secret that every believer needs to know. One that has the power to transform your faith and ignite your spirit. Are you ready to discover it? This is the story of Elijah. Imagine this alone figure, standing atop the rugged cliffs of Mount Carmel. His silhouette cuts against the vast sky, where storm clouds swirl and the air crackles with tension. Below him, 450 prophets of Baal chant and shout, their voices rising into the heavens, desperate for an answer. The stakes. The very soul of a nation teetering on the edge of spiritual destruction. In the midst of the chaos, Elijah stands calm, his unwavering gaze fixed on the challenge before him. He lifts his eyes, not to the gods of stone and wood, but to the living God, the one true God. And in an instant, fire falls from the heavens, consuming the altar, the sacrifice, and every drop of water poured to prove the impossible. Silence falls over the crowd as the truth is revealed, the Lord is God. But where did this boldness come from? What fueled Elijah's unshakable faith? As we journey through his story, we will uncover a truth so profound, so simple, that it has the power to change everything. This is not just an ancient tale of miracles long past, it's a roadmap, a blueprint for living a life of bold, unwavering faith today. Elijah's secret isn't locked in history, it's alive, waiting to be discovered. Prepare yourself for a journey through time, where ravens bring food to the wilderness, the dead rise at the sound of a prophet's voice, and a man outruns chariots with divine strength. But more than the miracles, we will uncover the heart of Elijah's power, a timeless truth, more relevant and powerful now than ever before. Are you ready to unlock the secret of Elijah? A secret that has the potential to revolutionize your spiritual life forever? Buckle up, because what you're about to discover could change the way you see faith forever. Are you ready to unlock the secret of Elijah? To tap into the same source of power that fueled one of the most formidable prophets in history? What you're about to discover could change everything about your faith and your relationship with God. To truly grasp the depth of Elijah's secret, we must step back in time. Picture a nation divided, a people lost, and a spiritual crisis of epic proportions. This was Israel in the 9th century BC. The kingdom had fractured, and the northern realm was drowning in spiritual decay. At its helm was King Ahab, a man swayed by his pagan queen Jezebel. Under their rule, the people had abandoned their god. Altars were built for Baal, and the worship of the true God was nearly forgotten. The land, once sacred, was now consumed by idolatry. It was a dark time a time that mirrors the spiritual struggles we face today. As one Kings tells us, Ahab did more evil in the eyes of the Lord than all who came before him. He raised an altar to Baal in Samaria and erected an Asherah pole. His actions stirred the anger of God like never before. This was the broken world Elijah was called to confront. One man against an entire nation, a lone voice crying out in a sea of lies. Elijah stood as a champion of Yahweh in a land overcome by corruption. The parallels to our own time are striking. Just as Elijah faced a culture that had turned its back on God, we too live in a world where truth is blurred and faith is often scorned. But here's the remarkable part Elijah did not waver. He did not shrink back. He stood firm. Armed with a secret so powerful, it would shake the very foundations of Israel's decaying society. As we unravel Elijah's story, we realize his world wasn't just the backdrop for his mission. It was the crucible that forged his faith. The challenges he faced weren't barriers, they were the very reason his mission was crucial. And today, we find ourselves standing where Elijah once stood. Our world, too, is in desperate need of truth, of courage, of unwavering faith. And just as Elijah held the key to overcome his time, so too do we have access to that same powerful truth. Understanding where Elijah stood will reveal just how deeply his secret resonates with us today. The land lay parched, cracked under the weight of a relentless three-year drought. Desperation hung thick in the air as the people stood torn between the god of their fathers and the seductive allure of pagan gods introduced by their rulers. Into this fractured world stepped a lone figure Elijah, the prophet. Guided by divine instruction, he challenged the spiritual corruption of a nation, proposing a contest that would echo throughout the ages. This was no ordinary showdown. 
It was a battle for the soul of Israel. The people gathered atop Mount Carmel, anticipation and uncertainty pulsing through the crowd. Elijah, with a voice sharp and clear, pierced their hearts with a question that cut to the bone, how long will you waver between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal is God, follow him. His words, heavy with truth, transcended time, challenging not only the Israelites but us today. The contest was simple two altars, two sacrifices, but no fire. The true God would be revealed by fire from heaven. The prophets of Baal went first. Morning broke and with it their cries to their God began. They shouted, they danced, they pleaded, they cut themselves, but their cries were met with deafening silence. Hours stretched into noon. Still no fire, no answer. Then, with quiet confidence, Elijah stepped forward. He rebuilt the altar of the Lord, carefully laying twelve stones to represent the twelve tribes of Israel. He dug a trench around the altar, then commanded that the sacrifice be drenched in water once, twice, three times until the water overflowed the trench, soaking everything. As the time for the evening sacrifice approached, Elijah stood before the altar. His prayer, in its simplicity, carried the weight of heaven Lord, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Israel. Let it be known today that you are God in Israel, and that I am your servant. Answer me, Lord, so that these people will know that you, Lord, are God, and that you are turning their hearts back again. In an instant, the sky responded. Fire fell from heaven, a consuming force that devoured the sacrifice, the wood, the stones, and even the water in the trench. The crowd, stunned, fell to their knees, crying out, The Lord, He is God. The Lord, He is God. This was not just a spectacle of divine power, it was the revelation of Elijah's secret. In those moments, the world saw a man completely aligned with God's will, confident in God's power, and fully committed to his purpose. Elijah's victory on Mount Carmel stood as a testament to what could happen when one person, armed with unwavering faith and intimacy with God, stepped forward. It was a reminder that God was neither silent nor distant, but ready to demonstrate his reality and power in the lives of his people, just as he did on that mountain. As we look deeper into Elijah's story, the true source of his power became clear. His strength did not come from extraordinary abilities, but from a life anchored in prayer and faith. As the scriptures reminded us, Elijah was human, just like us. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and for three and a half years the heavens withheld their rain. Again he prayed, and the rains returned, the earth yielding its crops. Elijah's secret. His unwavering faith and a prayer life fueled by an intimate relationship with God. This wasn't an unattainable gift reserved for prophets of old. It was a power available to anyone, a power access not through superhuman strength, but through the simple, profound act of believing and praying with expectation. Elijah prayed with a focus so intense, it felt as if the very heavens paused to listen. His prayers weren't mere words uttered out of habit, they were a lifeline, anchored in unwavering faith. He never doubted that God would answer, and God did in ways that left the world in awe. When the prophets of Baal shouted and danced, hoping their elaborate rituals would summon fire, Elijah simply bowed his head. His prayer was direct, filled with a quiet certainty. And while the others clamored for attention, Elijah spoke to God with the calm assurance of a man who knew his voice. But Elijah's connection with God was not limited to public spectacles. In the solitude of a widow's home, he knelt over the lifeless body of her son, and with the same fierce faith, cried out, Lord my God, let this boy's life return to him. It wasn't the grandeur of the moment that mattered, but the depth of his dependence on God. He knew that faith, when paired with prayer, could move mountains and even bring life from death. Elijah's prayers weren't about asking for what he wanted, they were about aligning his heart with the will of the Almighty. His life was a living testament to the power of constant communion with God. Every action, every miracle was born out of this deep, unbroken connection. He didn't just speak to God, he listened. It was this secret, this rhythm of earnest prayer and unwavering faith, that empowered Elijah to stand firm when others faltered. And the most incredible truth of all, that same power was not exclusive to Elijah. It's available to anyone who dares to believe, to pray with the same faith, and to live a life in step with God's will. When the fire fell from the sky on Mount Carmel, it wasn't just a display of divine power, it was a revelation of the profound relationship Elijah shared with his Creator. But after the flames died down and the prophets of Baal were defeated, Elijah didn't stand tall in victory for long. Fear crept in, and in the shadow of Queen Jezebel's threats he fled. Even the mightiest of God's servants can be brought low by doubt. Even in Elijah's darkest hour, God never left him. As Elijah hid in the wilderness, God called him to a mountain. Amid the shaking earth, roaring winds and blazing fire, God's voice came as a gentle whisper. In that stillness, 
Elijah heard him showing that sometimes, God reveals himself in quiet moments. This whisper was a reminder God meets us in our weakness. He doesn't always need the dramatic to show his presence. Sometimes he's in the silence, waiting for us to be still enough to hear. And just as he spoke to Elijah in that quiet moment, he speaks to us today. We just need to quiet the noise of the world and listen. Elijah's story shows us that life with God is not always about the spectacle. It's about the daily surrender, the quiet moments of faith, and the courage to listen when the world around us is roaring. It's in these moments, both grand and intimate, that God's voice becomes clear. And like Elijah, we too are called to live lives that are attuned to his whisper, ready to act when he calls, whether in the fire of Mount Carmel or in the stillness of the wilderness. In the heart of a world teetering on the edge of chaos, there stood a man, a prophet named Elijah. With unwavering faith, he faced the storm of opposition that howled around him, a tempest fueled by the clamor of Baal's prophets and the corrupt rulers of his time. Against this backdrop, Elijah's resolve became a beacon of hope, reminding us all to hold steadfast to our beliefs. In a society that often presses us to compromise, his boldness urges us to stand firm, anchoring our faith in the unshakable confidence of God. Elijah's power lay not just in his actions, but in his deep, fervent prayer life. His prayers were a lifeline, threading through moments of public triumph, like calling down fire from the heavens, and private heartaches, such as the resurrection of a widow's son. Here, we find an invitation to cultivate our own prayer lives, sincere and aligned with the divine will, where every whisper and cry reaches the ears of a God who listens. And then came the climactic battle on Mount Carmel, a confrontation that resonated through the ages. Elijah stood alone, a solitary figure amid a chorus of voices that drowned out truth. Yet, he stood boldly, unwavering in his commitment to what was right, a testament to courage in the face of overwhelming odds. Today, in a world that often dismisses godly values, we too are called to be voices of courage, echoing Elijah's stand for truth. But Elijah's journey was not without its shadows. Fleeing from Jezebel's wrath, he found himself ensnared in moments of despair, grappling with doubt and fear. Here, we discover a profound truth. Even the greatest of faith can falter. Yet, in those vulnerable moments, God met Elijah, offering comfort and strength. This reminder reverberates through our lives, assuring us that it's okay to stumble, for God is near, lifting us from our lowest points. In the stillness of a gentle whisper, Elijah heard the voice of God, teaching us the necessity of quietude and attentiveness amid our noisy existence. In our hurried lives, how often do we pause to listen this intimacy with God, forged through constant communion and obedience, reveals the essence of a true relationship, a call not merely to religious activity, but to a personal transformative walk with the Creator. Elijah's legacy is clear. One person, fully surrendered to God, can become a catalyst for change. Each of us holds the potential to be agents of transformation, standing resolutely for justice and truth in our communities. As we reflect on these lessons, faith, prayer, courage, stillness, perseverance, intimacy with God, and the call to action, we find a roadmap for our spiritual journeys. From Elijah's life, we draw timeless principles, empowering us to navigate our own paths with purpose and conviction, leaving a lasting impact on the world around us.